This is Stone Town, the capital of Zanzibar. I have spent 30 days on this vibrant, beautiful island, exploring it as much as possible, visiting amazing places, experiencing new adventures and eating a variety of exotic foods. Welcome to my second day of my exciting trip in Zanzibar. In this episode, I am going to take you on an authentic tour through the streets of Stone Town for your viewing experience. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and click the notification bell to be updated on future videos. And if you enjoy what you see, don't forget to hit the like button as well. Okay, so now we are on the road to the supermarket. From now on, I am just going to show you the streets and maybe also comment something to them. It's very close to where we stay. Already at the shore. Many souvenir shops everywhere here. That's also a nice chill out area, I think, in the evening if you want to come. I got now the hat when there's no sun for no reason, but anyway. Many places, many areas. You had many, had many hotels, many restaurants, and the streets are narrow. That's a really cool vibe. I like this about uh, Stone Town. and there we are now we reach the dubai supermarket look at this <laughs> looks very mysterious Ooh. entering entering oh look five times Definitely yeah i forgot to take it this one with purple and white okay let's take a purple one how much is it? No price. It's it it's free. priceless. No no price on it. You get it for free? Yeah, One inside. Okay. Drop of Zanzibar. Look at this. Face masks in a country where you do not have to wear face masks. How dope is that? Hmm. You do not have to wear a mask when you in the bank, not in the supermarket. It's really cool. Just finished buying now some uh, stuff. Now in the end when I was taking my uh, groceries, putting them in the bag, the lady told me uh, it's like 23,000 shillings. I'm like, okay, but I need a receipt. I'd like to have a receipt. We don't give receipts. I'm like, what do you mean you don't give receipts? I mean, how am I going to know how much for every single item, right? Heading to the new place. Come. Ah, thank, thank you. you yeah, I've already stayed. Thank you. Oh, no, I have everything. It's my last day. My last day here. As you can guys see, it's a very busy area, it's a touristy area and you get asked a lot if you... Everything, man, you know. Uh, okay, we're the mm. Oh, the spice is nice. Mm. Nice smell, man. Nice smell. Boy, it's smelling so nice. Mm. I guess it's the place, right? So we are just trying to find the supermarket and those are the streets and this is the market area which is actually way bigger than this but I hope I could show you some uh, nice impressions so far I am now for just less than 24 hours in Zanzibar and when I'm trying to find the location it is on the GPS written like a market or kind of supermarket 
is not really what you expect it to be. We are just coming from uh, grocery buying, we went in the market and somebody tried to rip us off to buy some paprika and some carrots and some onions for 5,000. You have to bargain everywhere. I know it's an obvious thing that I am here and I have to bargain but god damn. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She is much better than me at remembering places. <laughs> like I'm trying to remember, have we ever walked on this street? Because everything kind of looks the same. And uh, I am busy anyway also with vlogging here. And I'm not paying attention properly the way I should. There is a tower of a mosque. I'm not sure if you can see it because I'm on a wide mode. Wow, look at this. She's asking me now which way we have to go. Um, I would say straight. We just continue going straight ahead. Wow, look at this place. Really cool. Really nice, really nice. What I like are these narrow roads. Look yeah. at how freaking narrow they are. So many here Like it's no sh everywhere where you walk here. It's literally like a maze. You do not know where you are. So. For you to get a better feeling of how narrow these roads are, look at this. Yeah. Look, look, you see? That's how narrow these paths are. Which way? Uh, I would say we have to go then this way, there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I have the GPS with me. <laughs> I see that big, uh, nice uh, building, whatever, yeah, that road. Uh, oh, I see the camera. Okay, I think I know where we are. I think I found home by mistake, <laughs> by coincidence. <laughs> what? That's a different camera, but okay. Oh, it's a different camera, apparently. I still think I know where we are. <laughs> wow. Look, I know I'm very easily impressed. That area seems familiar, though. <laughs> but everything seems to be familiar here anyway we're going to go now in front here between this uh, building and this other building <laughs> i don't know how to say oh i remember i've seen this this building here i don't know i don't know oh and now we are back at some place oh we are close to the shore and our place is close to the shore so? yes yeah, so now here no shit no i really knew <laughs> no wait a second i wouldn't have gone there I think I would have gone there. I mean, I was pretty close. You know where we're coming out? To the no. I see some humans here. I know, I know, I know. Straight, straight ahead. Straight ahead, yes. Oh, what coffee do you have? No, man, no, thanks. Hey, I have coffee. 10,000 shillings. Just 10,000? No, no, it's my last day. My last day, my last day here. I have everything, man, thank you. Thank you. That's kind of like in Jamaica too. If you followed my vlogs before, if not, go and check them out. I have a bunch of them. It's kind of like the same thing being asked everywhere if you want something but it's also maybe because it's a touristy area it can also be wait a second are we not right no no i have everything i have everything I thank you man yeah no 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 no. i have no money i'm broke i remember how to reach back home ah oh, nice smells so many spices in the air especially in the market area when you pass you have so many spices floating around and people bargaining and everybody you want this you want that i'm like uh i don't know what i want i just want to see first of all and then to buy so if you would be to buy everything what you're getting offered a day you would need a truck let's say you have the money though to pay for everything you need to have with you a truck to carry everything by the way everything that we bought for five that we could have been ripped by five thousand shillings we bought maybe for like the half of the price. You also have to pay attention to that. Dow Palace Hotel. Nice. Look at all the flags there. The Africa House Hotel and we go to the best place ever. We go to our balcony house. 
our private hotel exactly so that's what I, I have to walk like this that's how narrow the streets are I'm not complaining I like that and this is now the place soon where we stay at I can see the balcony hey guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you watched already so far don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more adventures if you want to, drop me a message in the comment section below and let me know how you find the streets of Stonetown. Between this video and what comes up next on my trip, I am going to upload a short bonus video, just a couple of minutes long, in which I am showing and talking about the costs of the groceries I bought. So if you are interested to know the price of food in Zanzibar, stay tuned. I have no idea what is going to be here. What can you tell us about this place? Wow, crazy. It's not if you want or not, you have to. Look at this from the rooftop. I'm so excited right now, I'm not even exaggerating. I love it. <laughs> I freaking love it.